If you've ever looked at a contract or signed a contract, you've probably noticed they seem extremely overly wordy and there's way too much information in there when you feel like it should just be really easy. I'm going to do this. You're going to do that. Let's go. I'm going to break down why that's not necessarily the case and why contracts, specifically in this case, life insurance contracts are written the way that they are. My name is Jake Williams, and I'm a life insurance specialist with Step Up Wealth Management. For more information on life insurance or the role that it can play in a comprehensive overall financial plan that is tailored to you and your goals, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified immediately anytime I upload a video and you never miss one. So a policy, in this case I'm talking about life insurance policies, is really it's a set of expectations and it's it's written that way so that everybody involved knows what is expected of them and what is expected of the other party um, life insurance policies in particular really are just a set of provisions and agreements and those things are written to spell out the rights and responsibilities of the parties involved um, you as the owner or the insured, you're expected to do a certain number of things. The life insurance company as the insurer, they are expected to do a certain number of things. And from those expectations, you as the owner or the insured get a certain number of rights. And the company as the insuring company also gets a certain number of rights and these policies in the contract spell out those rights and those policies are written to protect both sides you have some policies that are there to protect the owner to make sure that the company doesn't go back on the agreement or to make sure that the company provides the services that they say they're going to provide and that they don't change what they say they're going to provide outside of what's spelled out there in the policy. Some of the policy provisions are there to protect the insurer against, okay, if you make a, an inaccurate or a false statement on the policy, what kind of protections does the company get? Uh, it protects the companies from fraud because life insurance is something that a lot of uh, fraudsters target because there's a lot of money involved. So these policies spell out the rights and responsibilities of the parties involved. They set expectations of what each party is going to do and what each party can expect the, from the other. They protect the owner, the insured, and the insurer and one of the reasons why they seem like they're written so wordy and they seem to just pack in as much language as possible is they're trying to eliminate ambiguity. They're trying to get rid of any questions that could be involved. That way th there's no unsure, un uh, uneven ground to, to stand on. Uh, they want to try and take care of all of the what ifs. So what if this happens? What if that happens? What if we do this and then that happens? They're spelled out in these policies. That way there's a clear understanding from the beginning and there's no ambiguity, there's no unsurety later. Because if, if there's something that's unsure with the amount of money that's included in some life insurance contract, it's almost guaranteed to go so, to some sort of litigation. And nobody wants that. If you can spell out in the contract exactly what is expected in circumstances A through Z, that makes it a lot easier to, to handle any issues that may come up. No matter what circumstance may come up, they hope to have taken care of them with the policy provisions. So recap on that really quickly. They set expectations. They spell out the rights and responsibilities. They protect the owner, the insured, and the insurer, and they eliminate ambiguity. That's why you see contracts written the way that they are. So if you've got questions on life insurance contracts or what that might mean for you, drop me a comment down below. I'd love to know what questions you guys have or what you guys are seeing. That way I can figure out 
what I need to answer next, what questions you guys have, and how I can help you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let's me know I'm getting you guys the information you're looking for, and lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job as well. And finally, if a life insurance contract is something that you think you want to be looking into, there's a link in the description below where you can apply to become my client. Go check it out. I do a little bit of a, a master class where I give you some basics on what we at Step Up Wealth Management think about financial planning, and then it goes straight into some fact finding. After that fact finding, we figure out a time where you and I can sit down face to face and figure out how we can set up a plan for you that is tailored on your life, on your circumstances, on your needs, on your goals. Please. Go check it out. But in the meantime, take care of your now, your future, and beyond. Thanks for watching.